Hello everybody! Welcome back to this let's play of Owlboy with your truly slow wolf. Last time we made it into this jungle area. We haven't really made it any further than this. Uh, we bumped into Owl Asshole. We saved a Bogwin. You know, we made some progress. Had to deal with some pretty depressing moments. Let's, uh, let's throw this. Let's light, light this on fire. Yep! Okay, light it on fire harder and it opens up the dungeon. Sweet. I'll take it. Uh, okay guys, I'm not a huge fan of dark caves, and uh, I've heard uh, meat-eating gnats thrive in these parts, uh, uh, but it's the only way forward, so, uh... I stand ready with my musket, Master Getty. It's not much, but I may provide us some light. Thanks, Alphonse. That, that'll have to do. <laughs> okay, great. I'm glad we made it this far. I'm just very confused. It is so dark. I am literally just following around. Hold on a second, I'm just gonna eat this. Oh, that thing regrows? Oh, come to Papa. Regrow. Again. <laughs> This thing regrows! It's great! Okay, let's go. What just happened? Okay, so spikes are bad. Something keeps blowing up over here. I can't keep you with me. Okay. And it seems as if that fruit not only heals me, it gives me the ability to be all sparkly and stuff, which means that the gnats like me. Okay. Great, I like it. Oh... Hello, please. Get my face. Nice. Ah! From whence did you come? You garbage person. For garbage people! Who invents that bad guy? Is there anyone closer? Yes, hop. Eat shit. Okay. And, uh, you're next, you say? Yep, yeah, hello. Now, since you're made out of rocks and stuff, I guess I'm gonna have to musket you to kill you? I'm not sure, but, like, I don't like you, so if you wouldn't mind just, like, going away. Uh, what would happen if I switched to Getty here? Would it work? It does work. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, but his blaster does not shine a light on things, ever. So, keep that in mind. This is a little scary. Where am I going? Oh, down, apparently. I'd like to get this fruit. What? I knocked the fruit through the wall? I need that. Okay, well, goodbye fruit, please. Uh, regrow. Please? No? No? You're not gonna regrow? You're a jerk. Go little bit by little bit. It's like the world's tiniest, shittiest flashlight. Oh god, there's freaking boulders that sucked. Keep going. Okay. It's nice and all, but like, whoa, hello. What happened? Did like the boulder just like chase us the whole way? It did. Okay, well, I'm glad that we moved as fast as we did, but, you know, stuff happens. Uh, if you don't mind lighting that up for us, thank you! I can actually see things! Holy crap! We spent the entire episode so far in the dark, and I have to admit, it kind of sucked. I don't think that jungles are meant to be that flippin', uh, convoluted, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Whoa! Okay, so you're a spider that shoots rocks at me. I don't like that at all. If you don't mind just, like, dying, that'd be... Amaze balls, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, does this mean that we're gonna be getting like Spider-Man pretty soon? Right, I don't need to burn stuff anymore. Like, stuff is stuff is a clear C, you know. I can actually Ah Well for once did you come, asshole? Okay, we made it through the hard part. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. 
garbage. All of you. Just die, please. Thank you. What a weird place. I'm not sure if I want to, like, you know, congratulate the developers on coming up with something that looks actually tonally slightly different. By slightly different, I mean actually quite a bit different compared to the rest of the game. Like, if I'm going to be real with you, this is the most different this game has looked all game. Between, uh... Okay, a bunch of purple shit. Don't know why the purple shit's important, but it, it might be one day. But between all the different, uh... Like, places effectively being a blue sky in the background with, you know, green stuff in the foreground. This is a nice change of pace. I'm quite pleased about that. Okay. We need to die. I would need something more to change this around, huh? Yeah, that does not work either. Interesting. Okay. Whoa! Hello, you ugly, ugly worms. Killing them did that? You're kidding. Well, okay, sure, like, sign me up. I'll, I'll take all the extra money. That's not a problem by me. But, like, what? That worked? For something, I had no idea what happened. I mean, like, sure, why not? But apparently, just burn everything to find anything you need. Okay, good. Here, go here. Stay there, Alphonse. So that opens up that door. Okay, that's a switch. I'm not gonna say that that's like old hat or anything, but it's kind of old hat, isn't it? You know, having to just like a random switch on the other side of the map that you have to burn your way through? It's fine. But at the same time. Okay, so now we're high enough that we can actually see what's going on. Oh, hey, it's the pirate and the spider dude again. The captain will be pleased when we bring him this relic. Hurry, nab it and let's skedaddle. <laughs> All right. I'd rather you didn't nab it, though. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he's scared! Look at this scaredy spider! Ah, you must have wrestled it somehow. I'm gonna get out of here before you screw up everything. Hey! Uh, wait up! I have a feeling that that spider dude is going to be joining our party sometime soon. It's going to be great. You see all this mud on this thing? That's important. Triple dog, quad dog, dare you. That's going to be important in a minute. Like, it's just, it's got to be. It's got to be. Those are the, like, that's going to turn on. It's going to be awful. All right, at least there's enough light here that we can see sort of what's going on. And this is continuing to be the case. I'm like, okay, sure. Hand me some of this good stuff and put it in my face, thank you. We're not getting anything extra out of it. Okay, that's fine. Good to keep around and keep note of. Okay, don't give me a long hallway. Please, because that... Okay. Ah, I got shot. Thank you for dying. Get shot. Spider-Man over here needs to die as well. Another spider over there, that's fine. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh. Hello. There's a treasure chest in here. Give it to me. Come on, hop out. Give it to me, please, right now. I wasn't expecting to find as much loot as I did right there, but okay, you know what? I'll take it. It's fine. Okay. Can I just take that out? Yeah, I can. And I can light that torch. It's all good. I can light that torch as well. Also all good. Oh, hi there. You don't mind like just insta-dying, do you? Weird spider thing. Okay, lighting that torch has done apparently nothing. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Do you see the uh, spider dude down there? I did too. He's dead now. <laughs> Ow. Take him out. Take him out. That's fine. Okay, there's a bunch of gnats. They're leading his places. But where? Okay, there's spikes. Don't go any any place stupid. Don't go too low either. Okay, you can go up. You can go down. I'm a little confused. Okay, well I found a nest of, of bad badass bugs. Um. We're gonna have enough. I don't have enough muskets. Get rid of the things. Shoot them. 
Oh. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I was really scared for a minute there. Like, that looked like I was gonna, like, die horribly. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. We <laughs> still might. These things are scary looking, and I don't like scary looking. But the Alphonse shotgun at the right time does a lot of good work for us. Okay, good stuff. Episode's coming along nicely. We're going along in this dungeon without too many issues. Like, we haven't gotten stuck or anything, so... I'm actually kind of annoyed that we haven't gotten stuck yet. Like... When I picked this game up, I was like, okay, they're gonna have some dungeons with puzzles and stuff in them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be hard. As a result, the puzzles are gonna be a lot like Legend of Zelda style. I'll admit, that is not what has happened. Please, get blasted. Thank you. Now, while I've got access to Glowy Doy Fruit, Actually, can another one regrow? Yeah, buddy, I got a plan with this. I'm gonna head down here with the glowy doy fruit. You know this area down here that was like super hard to see everything that was going on? Oh, you know, I could also just drop the fucking fruit, apparently. Just go slow. Hello. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a maze. Hello. All right, so lighting that on fire is gonna help us do what precisely? It's made this a little bit easier to see. Okay, we do not need magic fruit anymore. Nice, I appreciate it, thank you. But what? Well, there's gotta be more to it than that. Like, right? Ow, bad damage. Don't talk to me about that bad damage. That's it. Really? I mean, I'll take it for what it is, but like, if that's it, I'm a little, a little sad. I, I thought I had the smart idea, and I mean, it was smart, and then expectations defeated. I mean, like, okay, sure, I would get them. I got like an unlimited supply of fruit to eat, so like, just hold on a second here. Hand it over. Give me another fruit, please. Thank you. All right. Okay, there's really no point to Alphonse right now, as long as I've got magic glowy doy fruit, so. I mean, like, every once in a while I can get, like, a super flash, which is great. But in the meantime, my progress is gonna be slow. It's gonna be very slow. Okay, this is all grass. And there's fruit there. Okay, that's nice. Not that I can really use it. Oh, give it to me, baby. Oh. Okay. So we got a nest full of these jokers. So far in numbers that I can handle. But this is going to get a little out of hand. Quickly, just make sure that you keep a beat on them. What they're doing. If they start getting too numerous, swap over to Alphonse. Blow the crap out of them with a well-placed fire shotgun, and they'll be toasted. Like right, uh, like right about here, honestly. Oh, you missed. Oh, you're gonna take a lot of damage now. That's just the way things go. Um, oh my god. We got roasted because we got a little bit too greedy with that shotgun play. Naturally, we're gonna pay the price. Boink. Okay, rocked their world that time. Okay, now we just do not have Alphonse for this one. So like, you know, be careful. Oh god, this is gonna hurt a lot. They are, okay, yep, this is gonna suck. You might die here. Yep, okay. That that blue chunks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there is an easy way to dodge all those things. Just keep in mind that, you know, it's a flipping You know Effectively a machine gun. So long as you keep moving in a big circle, they can't really get you, but you have to be moving slow enough. That's not a big problem. So do I need to use anything other than getting for the first couple? No. Until we get up to like six or so, I think we're fine. Sorry, you were coming out. This side? Okay. This side? Okay, that's fine. Let's we'll start the machine gun over here. Okay, how about this side? Then this side again. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't mind. Yeah, it's a fair number of you. I'm not going to lie. But, like, it's not a big deal. Good. Worked out. 
And toast it. Okay, yeah. See, that was an easy strategy to deal with that. Demon... Okay. Okay, it broke a hole in the ceiling. Um, Up we get, I guess. Oh, whoa! What the heck are you? What? Am I supposed to be attacking those dudes? It's like a weird oil lantern monkey. Why? Why on earth do I want to be killing these small creatures? This seems unwise. Okay, oil lantern monkey, come, come to me. Thank you. Okay, you literally just light everything on fire, which is great. I'm not gonna dismiss that as anything other than an amazing feat of, uh, of awesomeness, but um, at the same time, Oil Lantern Monkey, I'm really sorry, like, in advance, like, it's just, it sucks that your life is effectively forfeit. And you die to that, too? Why do you die to everything, Oil Lantern Monkey? How are you alive? Evolution has dictated that you should not be a living thing. You spend your entire life making sure that you want to light yourself on fire and then die for it. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense. Make sure these fools don't get through here. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm going to get through here. I don't mean to be rude, but, like, I'm about to rock your world. And you don't even know it. Hello, Oil Answer Monkey. Okay, so... Oil Lantern Monkey's back? Alright, like, I see the puzzle. I know what you're getting at here, but like... Oil Lantern Monkey Bird, how... What? Okay, Spider-Man had to leave. Okay, so we used the Oil Lantern Monkey in the right spot. That's fine. Okay, you're immune to that. You're immune to that too. Whoa! What? Hello! Don't panic, don't panic, it's just a bunch of mosquitoes, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, it's just a bunch of mosquitoes, don't worry about it, it's not like this guy throws a nest or something ridiculous, uh, it's not a big deal, no, 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 okay, it's fine, he got handled, okay, outside of a little bit of panic, I think I actually handled that pretty well, no, I didn't die, it's mostly the important, bro. oh, ten low, Don't get me wrong, I'm like a little not happy with the idea of trying to take these guys on right now. But it's not that difficult, so I guess we'll keep going. I get the feeling I might get a reward for it. Ah! Ha! Flipping called it. Might get a reward for it. For killing all the obstacles in the way. This game teaches violence and I have learned well. Okay, let's go, let's go. Give me this thing. Oh, you exist. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Ow. Please get roasted. Thank you. Wait, now. These guys will come at me with the fury of a thousand swarms. Nothing I can't kite into oblivion. I've defeated bosses of you before. Like you have, you are nothing to me than a pay, like then than a small inconvenience at most. Okay, take these fruit, enjoy them. Look at that. At least Otis is a hungry boy, you know. He, he needs his food. It wants to lead me that way. I want to go down. So there's gonna be an oil lantern monkey. It wants me to go that way. There's an oil lantern monkey thing that way as well. Oil lantern monkey. Hello. Come this way. Oh, Jesus. How do I get oil lantern monkey to come my way? I don't understand. Do I have to, like, exit? Yep, okay. That's easy enough. 
take him out. And then this guy. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. Combat's becoming fluid again. I've got access to many different moves, and I know how to move and dodge and and, and all that good stuff and weave and bob and don't forget Steve and Davey, okay? Steve and Davey are important people uh, as far as this game is concerned, too. Oh, come on now. You shoot two rocks? Nah, man. Fuck you. You don't get to shoot two rocks. Why do you get to... Oh, yeah, I'm like actually hitting the oil lantern monkey on purpose at this point, and it feels. I didn't even aim at you! The auto aim is really mean. Alright, oil lantern monkey. Go that way. No, wrong way. Go the other way. Can I grab you? I can. I can grab you? Oil lantern monkey, I can throw you and grab you and everything else? This is beautiful. I have a throwable bomb that flies. And that makes me feel like a goddamn asshole. Oh god! <laughs> makes me feel like a goddamn jerk. Okay, so I understand what I want to be doing now. We're gonna head back up here because I know there's a couple of secrets I missed because of the fact that I did not know that I could throw Oil Lantern Monkey. Because of course you can throw Oil Lantern Monkey. The entire point of this game is that you can do all kinds of nasty things to Oil Lantern Monkey, okay? Oh. I can't get Oil Lantern Monkey through the waterfall though. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's not like I had big plans or anything. Just keep dodge rolling through everything. Just dodge roll through life. Have a good time. You're not happy? I can see that? Go down. We don't have to work together if you don't want to, buddy. You know what? Get out of my way. Oh, hell it's Spider-Man. And he's gonna make a door out of nowhere. How? Again? You cowards! You absolute cowards! You'll pay for what you've done! Ah! <laughs> what crawled up green guy's butt? <laughs> he seems real mad for some reason. Who cares? Just alert me the second they get through the door. I don't have time for any more distractions. <laughs> Will do! Fruit? It's a fruit, apparently. Alright, well, I got a plan. Don't worry, Getty. We got this guy's number. See, uh, Oil Lancer and Monkey? I know you're not pleased, but, like, don't worry about it, effectively. You're fine. I mean, you're gonna die, but you're fine anyway. Don't worry about it. Oh, wrong one. Please blast the other one. Thank you. Okay, we got glow-in-the-dark fruit here. Chances are, I'm gonna need to ingest that. Good news is, I also have an unlimited supply of them, so long as they don't glitch it through a wall. Oh, I see. Uh, I might have an unlimited supply of fruit, but I don't have an unlimited supply of, uh, supply of oil lantern monkeys. Thank you. I feel really heartless doing that. I'm not gonna lie to you. This feels like a shitty move. Give me another oil lantern monkey. Thank you. Again, though, how does this bird monkey thing even exist? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we have access to another oil lantern monkey, which allows me to go to the right here. Get roasted. Okay, blast your way through these guys as much as possible. Without getting hurt, preferably, that'd be awesome. The max range, if at all possible. They don't tend to like it from Max Range all that much. I mean, let's be honest, they, they don't tend to like anything very much, to be honest with you. They, they, they attack everything on sight, so I'm not gonna... ...pretend that they like very much, honestly. Oh god, wrong guy. Do not shoot the hive. I do not want another hive on my butt. I've already got one right here. And I roasted most of it. Feels great. Roasted, like the mosted. Grab another fruit, eat it up. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's all this purple stuff anyway. Like, it seems to be growing up all over the place. Ah, uh, no. You don't get to throw your hive. Please get roasted. Blasted? You know what? Get blasted makes more sense in this game. I've got two options here. Blast and roast. As it stands right now, blast is the easiest way to kill most people here. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, we've got a... We've got a ceiling here that needs to get blown up. That's fine. There's probably gonna be an oil lantern monkey somewhere, but what? What? Pardon? Pardon? No, okay, so that's not gonna go down. And as much as I want to do something here, this is not the place that we get to do it. Okay, that's fine. So where does oil lantern monkey exist? How do we get through all of this? Um, so this has all been pretty much for naught. If we go down here, there should be another oil lantern monkey. Hello, bird thing. Uh, if we go to the right this time, there should be a place where we need to put an oil lantern monkey. Oh, never mind. Wow. Oh, that was a little close. Waterfall. Didn't notice the waterfall in time. That's okay. Here, Alphonse, you stay there for a minute. Sure thing. Yeah, you got it, bud. It's all good. Uh-huh. Nothing there. What about to the left? Was there anything to the left? No, just that oil lantern monkey. I don't think oil lantern monkey goes too far down this way. Yeah, because this exists. Crap. I, I, I thought that there was maybe a way to get him through all this before we got up to... Before he exploded, but like, there's no way. Okay. Other one. Thank you. Um. I have a bad feeling about this. Run! It's gonna be a boulder. Just run. It's gonna break this thing in half. Boom. Okay, never mind. Don't need an oil lantern monkey. It's fine. We don't need to go up there either. Apparently. Fine. Interesting. Okay, so what I need to do is turn this thing around. Oh, god damn it. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. All the way around, baby. All the way around. There we go. That wasn't so bad. And now look at it. It's an owl. Yay. Hey. It's owls everywhere. Um. So what did that do? Okay. Okay. It turned on that owl. They can feel it calling in the air tonight. Okay, we managed to uh, open that door. That's fine. There's skulls here. And bones! Skulls and bones! And a bunch of flesh-eating gnats. Fantastic. We need to leave before we start taking a lot of dumb damage, I get the feeling. All right, does Monkey help us with all this? Oh god, Alphonse. Sorry, Monkey. Yeah, I get the feeling this is just actually hurting us. I don't like this at all. Give me the fruit. Somebody give me the fruit. And also this music is like terrifying. So like please give me more fruit. All right. Is there a monkey? There is no monkey. There is monkey? There is a monkey. Let's go, buddy. You're a portable lantern and I love it. We're not going that way. Okay. Uh, which way is the way out? I'm being attacked by a bunch of gnats all over the place, and it sucks. Like, actually just- Oh, what? Give me this. Thank you. Boy, am I glad that we took the time to take out all those obstacles along the way, too. That's nice. You know, I'm actually not all that worried. These gnats don't seem to be doing all that much. It's annoying, sure, but... Why do I get the feeling it has something to do with this? 
Let's go. Come on. All the way around. Get rid of the gnats. Apparently they eat people. Yep, okay. I thought that might get rid of the gnats. That's fine. Okay, that's not that's not so bad. It's just a bunch of owls. Puzzles upon puzzles upon owls upon stuff upon... Are those things going to power wash a boss off? Not yet. And it's going to open up that door. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, he's gone. We're going to have to come up with a different like voice for him, I guess, if he comes on our team. Alright, but with the flesh eating gnats gone, we're in a good spot. Like, that went from being, oh, look at that. We die instantaneously to a bunch of angry bugs to, oh, well, that's kind of a nuisance. It's kind of taking away some of our life points. But, you know, it's not a big deal. All the way to, that eh, these things are actually useless. Don't even worry about it. Just go, like, moderately fast and you're fine. It's not like the freaking gnomes from the first dungeon. Do you guys remember that? Well, I, I is that the first dungeon? Now that I think about it, is that the first dungeon, though? The gnomes from that dungeon, though, were just dumb. Like, that was stupid. Just, eh, yeah, you, you made noise. You get to die today. Flipping annoying gnomes. Okay, get in range and then just keep... What? I get, 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 I don't want to have to continuously tap the R trigger to be able to fire fast enough. Like, can't I just, like, have a normal button to do stuff like it is time to go. It is time to flip and go. It is time to go, go, go like a Polaroid baby. Come on. There we go. Nice. We did it. Not a problem. Indiana Jones, BB. BB? Anyway. Alright, so since we got our way in here. Oh, uh, this looks bad. Welcome to hell. This is Doom uh, 2016, apparently. Oh, they already made it here. Great. Is that a computer? Half melted? Alphonse. <laughs> so, thought you could weasel yourself back in with the pirates, huh? You've even brought friends. An owl, no less. Funny how quickly you can change sides. Let's see how well he can fly after I've cut his wings off. <laughs> Hey! You're not ruffling a single feather on Otis, or. or. or you'll be sorry. <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> it's Sir Green's a lot! You! It's your fault! All of Advent! All of this! <laughs> Maybe you should have stayed at your post of belly. Right, Dirk? Shut up, Twig. You're as much a loser as they are. Uh, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Goggles. I'm not gonna hurt you. Not when I have someone to do that for me. Oh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Huh? Wait! Okay. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> By whoops, I mean whoops. <laughs> Looks like you woke it up. Dirk, uh, what are you doing? It's been fun, Twig, but we don't need you anymore. What? No! Well, great A Jerk. And we pissed something off. It seems to be a robot. Boot. Board sequence initiated. Directive protect the X machine. Destroy all interloping agents. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that hurt a lot. So, what do I do with this guy? Just blast the thing, I guess. Preferably not get sandwiched in the middle in the meantime. Yeah, okay, so just blast the, the thing that seems to have no point. Ow! Other than to get blasted. That's fine. Just keep blasting, baby. Uh, landing on the electric thing, maybe not so smart. Ah, 
Oh god damn it. This is a little hard to call, honestly. Shit. I was trying really hard to actually, you know. Okay. Spinning does it nothing. Okay. Keep blasting the robot thing. It's fine. We can save Twig. This episode has been a little long, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm starting to learn his patterns. I'm sussing him out. Uh, except for when I managed to land on not one but two different uh, things and then get like slapped around by a by another third different thing and I hit the button. Oh god, he got pissed off even more. This I do not like. I do not have the HP to suss all this out yet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! What is this boss? Wow! I managed to dodge relatively okay, which was nice. Okay, uh, it's gonna be a little desynced. That's fine. Ah, god damn it! This is actually hard. We might die here. If we do die here, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. Try this again next episode. Okay, it's mad, whatever it is. Oh, it's very mad, and it's plugging itself into the sockets. Ow, ow, okay, hold on, hold on, it worked the last time. Come in here, buddy. Shit. Okay, try again. Yeah! Shocker, baby! Okay, we managed to... Uh, did we kill it? Did it die? <laughs> Crispy fried. Hey there, Twig. You, don't move or I'll, or I'll shoot. Hey! Oh, man. He got away. Oh, why does this keep happening? Hmm. That spider person. He does not seem particularly malicious. If I were to guess, I'd say he does not know what trouble he is in. Dirk, however. My former comrade. He trapped us in here with that thing. The next time we meet him, I fear we might have to... Uh, no matter. Let's find a way out of here. I guess we have to, like, deal with this thing. Teleport, maybe? Oh, it's a teleportation pad. Sweet. Good to know that it still works despite all the, you know, liquid magma and the computer in the background actually just, like, melting apart. It's pretty sweet. Okay, that was pretty cool. I like that animation. That was neat. Um, where did we go, though? Where did we teleport to? Why did we teleport to any place, anyway? <laughs> okay, at least Otis is as shocked as I am. Um, oh. Okay, that seems to be good. Whoa! Otis, did you just get teleported? I guess so. Uh, now we all know how it feels. Although, we lost track of Dirk. At this rate, well, he'll get to the final relic before we can. Maybe not, Master Getty. The doors in the floating continent act as defense gates. You will surely be trapped in there until we can figure a way to open them. Reactivating this teleporter would surely bring us back to that room. If memory serves, there should be a way to reactivate it around here. Oh, all right. Still, uh, let's hurry and try to find a way back before Dirk reaches the relic. And we're going to have to do that in the beginning of the next episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. Things have been, I mean, dungeony for the past little bit here, but we're finally getting into a place where the dungeons are seeding way to some more plot uh, and dramatic uh, like movement, which is nice. And we're back into some place that looks a little bit more familiar. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.